My name is Manfred Novak. I'm a professor of international law at Vienna University and I was appointed as the lead author of the United Nations Global Study on Children Deprived of Liberty, which you see here, and we published it as a joint exercise uh, in uh, November 2019. And uh, in the moment we are trying to disseminate it in uh, various places and I'm very happy to be invited uh, to deliver the Gilbranton lecture this year at Strathclyde University. And um, uh, the main findings are quite simple. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child is very clear. It says deprivation of liberty of children shall only be a measure of last resort and for the shortest appropriate period of time. So it means in principle children are children and as such they are in their formative years. They should not be detained in whatever form whether it's migration detention, whether it's in institutions, in the administration of justice, uh, we should always find alternatives, non-custodial solutions. In the family, foster family, in family type settings in the community. But in reality, and there's a very conservative data, we found that worldwide there are about 7 million children that are living behind bars in different types of institutions. And uh, what we want to achieve is <coughs> to change the mindset. Children should be treated differently. Children need love, they need affection, they need care, and not, even if they have done something wrong, to be put in institutions where they are often subjected to violence, where there's a totally different environment. Children should not be locked up because they have so much need to, uh, to, to move around, etc., more than adults. And they have special needs and we have to take care of them. So the ultimate aim of the global study is to raise awareness that we should reduce as much as possible every form of deprivation of liberty of children um, and uh, at the end I think we should uh, abolish child detention. That would be the best because it is also non-effective, it's counterproductive, it's much more expensive uh, if you put children, if you lock them away, uh, then if you deal with them in a the child welfare system. We need much more support for the families that they can take care of their children, even if they are having some behavioral difficulties, uh, if they are in conflict with the law, children with disabilities, children who take drugs or whatever. It's primarily the children that need to be cared by their families, by their parents, and the parents need support. If that, that doesn't work, then the child welfare system needs much better resources in order to deal with them in a non-custodial way. That's the main conclusion and the main <coughs> recommendation that I have um, sent to all governments in the world, but also United Nations agencies, but also to the people at large, that we should get away from criminalizing children when they have done, done something wrong, we should assist them, we should help them to reintegrate again into society. And if they are once behind bars, it's much more difficult to reintegrate them.